Hey guys, it's Red Ribbon Week and we're Impact Chesney High and we're here to bring awareness to substance use. In Impact, everyone has a story and everyone has a voice. It's important to use our voices for what's good and it's important to share our stories with others so that they know that no matter what they go through, they aren't the only ones. Here are some personal testimonies from people who aren't afraid to share their stories. My name is Asunciano Canabarrios. I'm in 11th grade and this is my story. Growing up, my dad was an alcoholic, and he became really abusive because of it. He abused my mom, and he abused me and my brothers. In about fourth, third or fourth grade, him and my mom got divorced because of the alcohol and the abuse. And so in about sixth grade, he got caught crossing the county line with drugs, and that caused him to be sent to prison and he was there until recently and I refused to do those drugs or do the alcohol for the simple fact that the amount of time he has missed he has missed birthday parties he has missed just family time in general time was we could have spent together so yeah hi my name is Sarah Harmon and I go to USC upstate and this is my story in eighth grade, my grandmother passed away, and I had a really tough time dealing with that. And in trying to gain counsel for that, I turned to my friends. And whether they meant to or not, they led me down the wrong path on how to deal with that. So I urge you guys, if you're going through a tough time, which we all do go through them sometimes, um, to talk to a parent or guardian or a trusted teacher, a guidance counselor, somebody that you trust to go to in learning how to deal with that situation so that you can get on the right track on how to deal with that better for the future. Hi, I'm Bailey Hutchison, and this is my story about my aunt. She is a recovering alcoholic. The pain that I have seen her go through has really affected me and my family, um, mainly because she, she struggled a lot, and she's going to have to deal with this for the rest of her life. She did go into rehab for about six weeks, but her biggest... Her biggest fear was her losing her life to alcohol and not being able to be there for her daughter. So I encourage each and every one of you guys that are watching this to not give in. Don't start because it it can threaten the rest of your life and just not. It can affect everybody around you, not only you. Hey everyone, my name is Miranda Gilbert and I'm a 2010 graduate of Chesney High School and a graduate of North Greenville University and this is my story. Um, a couple of years ago, I met my best friend in the entire world. His name was Zachary and Zachary asked me to be his wife not too long ago and I was so excited about marrying him. He, like I said, he was my best friend in the world and we were planning a wedding and everything was so exciting. And then um, Zachary ended up having an overdose from substance abuse and he agreed to get help and he went to a 10-week rehab and was doing really well with his sobriety until he began using again um, a, few, a few months after he had graduated from his rehab. And um, last November 2016, Zachary passed away from his addiction and, you know, for you guys, since you're so young, it may seem like adulthood is so far away and that these are things that you, you can't even think about right now, but you know that's not true for so many people. Zachary started using for fun. He started doing drugs just for fun at parties and at work when he was a teenager, and he had no idea that doing those things for fun would eventually consume his life and would eventually take his life. And, you know, it's just been a lot to deal with over the past year, a lot of hurt for a lot of people because of Zachary's decision. So I just want you to think about the things that you do, think about how it's going to affect your body um, and the things that you go through in life, but also how it affects the people around you and the people that love you. If you take anything away from this video, make sure it's this. Your decisions affect the others around you, and they always will. As you go through your life and school and just in general, Keep this in mind. Now that you've heard these stories about how substance abuse can affect people's decisions and the ones around them, we hope that you will deeply consider your own decisions. We are Impact Chesney High and we strive to positively impact our school and our community. However, you can also impact your school and community. 
you can stand up and make the difference. This is your call to action.